Hey guys, so I'm making this video because I promised a friend that I would, and eventually I would get to it and share this, but um, what they don't know is what I'm about to say. I didn't tell them all of it, ha ha ha. Okay, so friendships. A lot of people have asked me, how do you keep friendships? How do you know who your friend is and everything? Let me share something with you. You don't really know. That's why you pick and choose who you talk to. Because if you allow yourself to have everybody in your life, and everybody have a key to your life, and what you're doing, and how you're doing, and stuff like that, eventually, a lot of people are going to affect you with their mindset and how they're doing. Because everybody can say who they are, but their actions speak louder than their words. And a lot of people don't misunderstand that conception until they see it in action. For example, if someone's pretending to be your friend, but yet they text you like they're your friend, but when you want to hang out with them or you want to do something with them and they don't, or when they, they do it because they, they're they only doing it because they feel bad for you, because they're pretending to care, you'll know the difference. You will. That's why you pick and choose your friends. Also, if you keep feeding yourself junk food with these people that are not good for you, you're going to get sick. You're going to end up getting a sugar high and then crashing. That's why you got to feed yourself fruit, an apple, an orange, a watermelon, and stuff like that. People that are good for you, that encourage you, that remind you who you are. And remind you, hey, that's not you, but are patient and, and, and pray for you and care for you in a godly way. That's a good friendship. What's not a good friendship is somebody that puts you down. Who 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 doesn't care about you, who who affects your mindset in a way to where you're steering away from who you are. And also don't pretend to be somebody for somebody else because that's who they need you to be. If that's not you, that's wrong. That's hurting them and that's hurting you. Because it's affecting your mindset more than you realize. And don't do that and then lie to them about saying that they that you do care. When you really do not. You're just pretending to because you feel far sorry for them. Don't do that. Granted, a lot of people don't realize they're doing that. Because they're conflicted. Because they're in high school and they don't understand friendship. I really didn't understand friendship. And I still don't. I just, I grow through the Lord. And I grow through what he wants. And the friends I do have are believe in God. And it really helps because they understand where I'm coming from when I talk about stuff. Find someone who has the same beliefs as you. You can't be friends with somebody that's an atheist if you're a Christian. It's not going to work unless God wants you to. Know who your friends are. Be real with them. Don't keep feeding yourself junk food. And don't pretend to be friends with people and pick and choose who you're friends with who has the key to your life. Because those people will affect your decisions and who you are, regardless if you think or not. It will. Trust me, I have been there. I've done it. And I probably have a t-shirt for it. Being funny there. So here's this video. I wanted to share this because a lot of people don't understand that. And they think they, that this person is going to be my best friend and this person is going to be my best friend. But when you leave high school, a day after high school, when you graduate, none of them care. Maybe count of your finger of this hand maybe i have one friend at high school that i that i met in high school but i got to know more and more as i left high school that turns out we have a lot in common through the lord and also we're getting to know each other and it's really nice to find a friend like that but sometimes you don't find those friends sometimes you find friends in college you find people at church that are like you see who you want to be friends with but find people that are going somewhere that are doing something that aren't afraid to be who they are and also if that person's bringing you down all because you because they feel sorry for you that's another thing don't become friends with somebody just because you want to help them because you feel obligated to be real pick and choose and make sure you're feeding yourself fruit and not junk food I hope this video helps y'all. Sorry it's so long. Have a good night.